check out the size of that garter snake. All right, so I still got this big guy. And check out, we have another one. Well, well, what have we here? There we go. I've been walking around all day and we got another one. Fourth one of the trip and it seems to be another really big one. Six feet long, black rat snake. Now you can see that it just looks like a stick. If you're not looking at it, see it out of the corner of your eye, you're not gonna notice it. All right, I'm going to try to take this really slow. I'm just gonna make sure this guy sees me. I'm really close to him right now. He's looking at me. He's not getting defensive yet. He's just trying to check me out. See, am I, see if I'm a friend or a foe. Um, you can see his head right there. I don't want to do this too fast. I don't want to make him too stressed. I want him to see that I'm just here to look at him. I'm not a threat. And once he starts moving again, that'll show me that he's a bit more comfortable. I can slowly get closer till I touch him for the first time, and that's a lot of the times when they'll bite. But if I take it really slow, I might be able to avoid getting bitten at all. I don't really know how this guy is yet, like temper-wise. I don't really know if he's a bitey one or if he's just gonna sit here and let me hold him like the first one did. All right, so as you can see, he has begun to move a little bit again. He's getting a little bit comfortable. He knows that if I wanted to hurt him, I definitely would have by now. Starting to move a little bit. So I'm gonna go slightly further to the back half and try to make the first contact. And I'm pretty sure he'll probably bite me, but we'll see. Here's my hand and we're gonna do it. Um, actually, he doesn't seem to care that much. <laughs> I have my hand on him. He feels so cool. But this is like the least reaction any of them have given me all week. I'm going to start to lift him up a little bit here. No reaction. Check that out. It's like I'm not even here. Totally wild, six foot black rat snake. And I just touched it, and it didn't care at all. All right, so I have him fully in hand now. He has not bitten me. He might eventually if he starts to get a little bit annoyed with me. But he actually just seems to be totally like a docile snake. He's trying to get away a bit now. It's really hard to handle a big snake like this and record it at the same time. I'm going to have to go find somebody to hold the camera. But there he is. Super awesome. Still has not bitten me yet. That's from a garter snake earlier today. But he's just so cool. I love these things so much. And this might be the biggest one of the week. It's also, it's another pretty dark one. It's not light like the first two were. Super cool, I just love these things so much. All right, so I still got this big guy. And check out we have another one. Looks like another big one. Maybe even bigger, actually. Here, I'm gonna catch him. All right, here's the other one. He just pooped all over himself. Definitely a lot more defensive than this guy. But there's two black rat snakes right there. Two pretty similar sized. Not sure which one is bigger. But you can see if you try to make the process too quick, this is what they'll do. They'll get all angry at you and defensive. But that is two black rat snakes. That's the fifth one of the week right there. How awesome is that? Oh man. Check that out. Well, I'm just gonna leave that one behind. Let him go on his way. Um, because he's not very happy. But this guy, I'm gonna hang on to him for a bit. 
show them around, teach people about snakes, show them why they're not the scariest animals alive. And yeah, and then I'll release this one too. That is so cool. All right, here's another look at this six foot black rat snake. This is the really docile one. Really does not care that I'm holding him. Um, but you can see the length on this guy. He doesn't look like six feet when I'm holding him. But you saw him like out on the ground like that. That's a six foot snake. These guys can get up to eight feet though. Which is pretty, pretty crazy for a snake around here. But yeah, that is a black rat snake. That is super cool. Not much pattern on this guy. Just a classic black rat snake. I'm gonna go let him go now. All right, so I'm back where I found him now. We're gonna let this big black rat snake go right back where we found him. How cool is that? I know I've said it like a million times now, but these are my favorite snakes. Um, last year I only found one all week. Here for a whole week and I found one in the last three hours. I was afraid that would happen again. Because finding these a lot of times is just luck. But this year I managed to find five of them already. And we still got a couple days left. That is so cool. My strategy for finding these guys is just finding open areas like this. And just walking around. Walking all over the place. So a lot of it is luck, but when I do find one, I absolutely love it. I just got this nice water snake in this grassy area over here. This is the first one of the trip that I can confidently say is an adult. Still not massive, but definitely an adult. It's very docile as well. It might have tried to bite me like once when I first picked it up, but it calmed down very quickly. And now it's just sitting in my hand. Pretty nice. I do kind of like the look of this guy. But I will just let him go, like all the others. Alright, see ya dude. Thank you for existing. Maybe I'll see you again one day. Well, well. What have we here? Little friend, where are you going? No. That's a wood turtle. That's pretty cool. First one of these I've seen this year. I'm gonna get him in hand real quick. Check him out. He's a dusty boy, but still has some nice colors. Some nice orange, yellow. And he is bigger than the ones that I found last year. Pretty average size. But yeah, these things are cool. All right, buddy. You get to go over here. Now he stops running. There you go. That's a wood turtle. Those guys can get pretty big. But that's cool. Check this out. It's just a really open, steep, talus slope. Lots of sunlight. If you want to find timber rattlesnakes, that is where you go. I, however, am not going to be going up there. Because... I just don't feel safe going somewhere where there's just that many rattlesnakes and that many places for them to hide. I would just be terrified the whole time. Never know where one will be. I do like snakes a lot, but I also don't want to die very much, so. But that's cool, they're everywhere here, these talus slopes. They're all over the place. Um, and it's just cool to think how many rattlesnakes could be here. Here's another talus slope right here, except this one is entirely in the shade. So there definitely would not be as many timber rattlesnakes in here. But this one, to me, looks really cool. Can't even like see the top of this mountain. It's a pretty big one. But the talus slope just takes up the entire face of the mountain. Really cool. All right, next chirp is this feisty little garter snake. Pretty average looking one. Um, so I will just let him go. Alright, next herp of the day, I just flipped this really big gardener snake. Check this thing out. I don't know if it's bitey yet, 
But I don't overly want to get bitten by this thing. Check out the size of that garter snake. That's pretty cool. I just flipped him. Turning out to be a lot of snakes out here. All right, right under this big flat rock was another northern water snake. This one's got some nice reddish coloration. Pretty cool. It's a bit bigger too, actually. Not a full-sized adult, though, I don't think. I, I think you could consider this an adult, though. But just some nice coloration on this guy. Super nippy, too. Really does not want to cooperate.